Well, reviews are something that uh, most of us hate. And try to look at the high-level message. Are they important? How do they relate to previous work? Ask myself how I would solve it. I try to think of the solution uh, myself. You're trying to help the author do better research. Help the authors improve their paper. Be mindful of the fact that there are, you know, real people who have written this paper. Be a little bit modest. Be honest and also be considerate. Try always stay uh, positive. Try to stay positive. So paper review should summarize uh, what is done in the paper, clearly state the merits and drawbacks of the paper. Uh, it should summarize, you know, how does this paper fit into the larger scheme of things? What is the delta between this paper and the previous papers? Uh, whether this paper takes a, you know, the, the techniques introduced in this paper are reasonable to, to, to solve this problem. Right? Um, if you're a graduate student, the chances are that you'll be very critical in terms of judging the paper. You know, as you grow older, you'll be uh, less critical, and at least this was true for me. Um, and when you review a paper, be mindful of the fact that there are, you know, real people who have written this paper and have spent a lot of time writing this paper. So offer criticism in a constructive and a polite way without being unpleasant. You know, not everyone looks at the world in the same way. So be open to accepting opinions that are different from yours. So, um... First, you know, when, when I try to, uh, when I write a review, when I read a paper in, in general, it's important that I try to, to learn, learn from it. Um, and uh, in particular, what I always try to do is sort of like invent it myself. Once I understand like what is the problem that the paper is talking about, I sort of try to, you know, ask myself how I would solve it. And then this also makes me uh, appreciate uh, the problem because sometimes, you know, you see a solution, it turns out to be uh, simple maybe, and, you know, simple in retrospect uh, is something that, that happens uh, 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 quite a lot. So I think that this is sort of a good uh, uh, mental exercise. And then I get stuck and I see how they did it. And I try to go back and see how I can, uh, 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 again, now try to solve it. I get stuck again, et cetera. This really makes you sort of like, appreciate the paper and understand, and, and sometimes also understand what they did wrong. Like sometimes you would understand that, look, this is, this is easy, right? I can easily uh, uh, do this and, and you know, what uh, the paper suggests, maybe it's not uh, uh, the best way to do this. And, and then you can give uh, constructive uh, criticism uh, of the paper, okay? And I think that, you know, being constructive is, uh, is very important, okay? So try to give comments that people can later uh, act on. In particular, if you have like technical complaints or, you know, you think that there's like a problem in a proof uh, or that things are not verifiable, try to be concrete. Try to say exactly what is not uh, verifiable. Um, and I personally also like, like interaction. Like I think that interacting, this is not something that always uh, happens, but I would always check if it's an option because eventually it advances science and, and the way that things are uh, written. So interacting with the authors and asking questions and, and trying to get clarification, I think it's, uh, it's a good uh, uh, process. Um, one other thing is that I think that it's very important when you uh, uh, read a paper, you know, when you're, you're critical and all that, is, is really to try to uh, understand the importance of the result before asking yourself, you know, is this sort of like easy to get or not? Uh, or, you know, I, I spoke about uh, trivial and in retrospect. Uh, if the result is important, then, you know, simplicity is not a downside. Like, you know, on the contrary, right? Like simplicity uh, could be a, um, a great advantage. And, and, and this is how I think uh, uh, we should approach uh, uh, reviewing. Um, perhaps one last thing I can say about this is that, I don't know, like at least for me, sometimes when, uh, when I uh, review a paper and I don't know, like I feel that it's uh, misleading or that it doesn't properly uh, treat uh, uh, other work like the literature or the background. And I get upset, I can get annoyed. 
uh, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm human, we're all uh, a human. And, uh, and, and my advice is don't try to review when you're annoyed, okay? T take some time off, write it the next day once uh, you cooled uh, uh, down. Because you know, uh, these sort of things are like almost never uh, uh, malicious or intentional. Sometimes it's just like a different uh, uh, viewpoint um, so yeah, so don't, don't be annoyed when you write, uh, so, um, when you write a paper review, you know, um, be honest and also be considerate and, uh, try to write it in a way that is helpful for the, uh, for the reader. About writing reviews first. Um, so I think, of course, there are always the easy cases at, at either end of the spectrum. If the paper is bullshit, well, that's not so hard to explain if, if, if there's a fatal error. Uh, if the paper is just fantastic and there's nothing to well, also easy, right? Uh, but 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 the major, majority of the papers, of course, are, are somewhere in the middle. There are pros and there are cons, right? And and there, are, I think, one overarching thought is that is that I think the main purpose is, is to try and help the reader, to try and help the authors improve their paper. Uh, it's not really to to decide to reject or, or accept the paper. That's that should be more like an afterthought, really. Um, so that that's one thing. So which, which means, of course, constructive comments are, are, are much more important than than than, than just criticism. Um, and then, so in that connection, that there, there is this issue that I, I feel very strongly about, namely that I think we're getting into a um, little bit unfortunate culture, in the sense that it seems more and more, a paper must be very difficult, very complicated, very hard to understand to be good, which is complete bullshit, to be completely honest. <laughs> it, it, so so the, the problem here is that, um, in, okay, granted, of course, some papers are really trivial and, and just repeat stuff that's been done before or whatever, those should be ready. But what I'm talking about here is the paper which has this very, very good perhaps simple idea that nevertheless is really powerful and really advances our understanding of stuff. And, and there your problem as a reviewer is you can very easily fall into this trap where you make yourself believe that once you read the paper, you, you, you think this, this is easy. This is, this is just totally straightforward. I could have thought of that. It's not interesting. When it, the real fact is, no, you couldn't. It, you, you're, you're told this is totally bogus. You only think it's easy now because you read the paper, right? And you've seen the idea. So they really have to think about this hard and, and try to rewind the tape and see if you really hadn't seen this before, would you really think it would be that easy? Right? So let, let me give you an example. So we all know Adi Shamir's old How to Share a Secret paper, right? Um, the paper is maybe three, four pages or something like this. Um, it's technically really, totally straightforward, nothing hard there. But nevertheless, of course, incredibly influential paper, one of the most cited papers in, 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 in the whole field, and you know, really a paper that that, that, that moved something. Um, and and you know, I sometimes get into a bad mood if, if I ask myself, would such a paper have been accepted at, at crypto these days? I mean, not that paper, but something of, of similar caliber. And and somehow I I, I hope it would, but I I I kind of doubt it, I, I must admit, because because I'm afraid that that too many reviewers will have said, "Oh, that's easy, that's too simple," you know. And and we really have to 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 be careful about this. Good. Yes. Yes. So, how to write paper reviews? Um, I or my perspective on this changed a lot uh, when I grew up uh, uh, from uh, uh, being a young PhD student to now uh, being a being a faculty. When you write a, a, a paper review, always put yourself in the position of that person who will later read this review, right? Uh, when you write a review, would you like to get a review like this? Um, uh, or would, would, it, would it make you unhappy to read some, some things that you would write there? I mean, you have to be honest, right? Um, but uh, I mean, the important thing somehow is to try always stay uh, positive and sort of think uh, think you might be the person who who gets to read this review afterwards. Yeah, I think this is uh, subjective and, and different people have different opinions on it. Um, I guess from my perspective, uh, I like, uh, uh, you know, reviews that try to look at the high level message, right? So if you're looking at a paper, 
Um, obviously, the correctness and, and those aspects uh, have to be the case. But after that, it's very important to, to understand, well, what problem is it solving? How does it fit in with the, the rest of the uh, literature? And if it enhances our understanding, how will people uh, value it uh, over the years to come and so on? So things like that. So I think that a lot of the times reviewers get very bogged down by um, the, 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 you know, all the details that might be, um, but I think that the, the, the higher level message is, is obviously the most important thing. And it's useful to uh, step back and think about how, uh, what the impact of paper might, and what the impact of a paper might end up being. Well, reviews are something that uh, most of us hate, uh, but they're actually really important uh, not only for deciding which papers make the cut, but also uh, for helping authors improve the paper. So use the review process as an opportunity to read prior work and become more knowledgeable in the area. This will help you form your own opinion independently of the paper's sales pitch. Try to see the big picture uh, how well separated the contribution is from prior work, to what extent it's likely to have impact on future work. Uh, these are probably the two most important questions you should ask yourself uh, when uh, assessing the value of the contribution. If there are any central claims in the paper that seem wrong or undersubstantiated, use the opportunity to pose questions to the authors. This will not only give them a, a fair chance to defend themselves, but also hold them accountable in case they make incorrect claims. Finally, try to be positive and constructive. If you hate a paper, sleep over it and try to also see the positive side uh, or, a fi or, or articulate uh, how the paper can be improved. And finally, read your own review and think of yourself as an author receiving this review. Never write things that would offend you as an author. Okay, so the first uh, most important thing to write a good, uh, to go, write a good review is uh, to read the paper. <laughs> How to read the paper, so what you should look for. Then uh, writing the review of something that you do after that. But first of all, you need to come up with uh, an evaluation of the paper. And there are many, many important things to look for. And uh, one, of course, uh, is the results themselves. Are they important? How do they relate to previous work and uh, this is also something that uh, in principle should be uh, the author's responsibility to responsibility to explain that uh, that well so uh, when you read a paper as a reviewer you're doing uh, a service to the community you're playing a very important role in the um, in science and research and uh, it is important to um, do your part as a reviewer, but at the same time, uh, leave to the authors what should be the author's, uh, the author's job. So if something uh, is not well explained, uh, uh, um, it can be hard uh, to... Um, it's not entirely clear if a reviewer should try to fix the problem to see that indeed it's not a serious problem or send things back to the uh, to the authors and for them to go back to it and often you get to review papers that are at some level re related to your research if you are selected as a reviewer that's because you are the expert in the area so it is something that uh, should uh, um, uh, sh shouldn't be used in your research. As long as the work is not published, you're reading it is something confidential and you should be very careful in just uh, doing uh, your part as a reviewer and then putting it uh, aside. So it uh, there have been also many cases where a reviewer uh, ends up uh, uh, contributing uh, so much to the paper that uh, the authors uh, in the end they invite the reviewer to join the paper to join the paper as an author and uh, um, the, 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 it happened to me on both uh, both sides both as an author and as a reviewer and of course uh, this is more of a courtesy type of uh, type of thing so there's no expectation when you are working as a reviewer you are contributing your time and you're doing that uh, uh, to um, 
uh, for the, the progress of research and uh, to uh, move forward with the uh, with the field and uh, is some kind of is a volunteering type of job that you're doing for uh, very little credit. I mean, the authors, they get a paper, a publication at the end, the reviewer is doing that. And if the paper is great, then of course, it's great to get to read it before anybody else. That's your, that's your payoff. You get a preview before everybody else to see the great, the great result. But more often than not, yeah, so papers that get, when they are in the reviewing stage, they are still at the point where there is space for improvement. Improvement. And reviewers, uh, yeah, they often uh, uh, yeah, generously contribute to their ideas and reading uh, and uh, to the authors. And this is very much appreciated by the, uh, by the authors. So even when uh, sometimes reviews are uh, critical and don't quite uh, say what the author was hoping for at first, uh, is something that uh, is uh, very important. Uh, well, uh... The first thing that I do is to find out what's the problem statement that the authors are trying to solve and the importance of it. Uh, and then what I do, I try to think of the solution uh, myself. Uh, and I do this gradually as I was as I'm reading also the technical overview. Uh, but it's really important to think uh, by myself first before I go uh, to check uh, the details of uh, the paper and one thing that I would like to also see in the papers is uh, the proofs uh, at least if the proofs don't fit in the main body of the paper uh, the paper should have enough uh, evidence uh, to be able uh, to convince me about uh, the validity of the proofs I think writing a good paper review it's very important because I'm sure many of us have been frustrated in reading uh, many of our reviews. Uh, you should try to really identify what are the contributions of the paper. Uh, you should uh, try to understand uh, the technical part of the paper and figure out whether there are things that are unclear or uh, whether there are issues, if you if you find something, uh, and in your review, you, you should try to take a positive view towards the work, trying to really explain what it contributes in in terms of the uh, known, what is known and what is open as questions. Uh, you should give comments of what you think the authors. Uh, didn't do in terms of uh, presenting in a convincing way their contributions or the technical presentation of the paper. Uh, and you should also try to be constructive, maybe give suggestions of what you think will make the, pa the paper better. Uh, but yeah, try to stay positive and try to focus on also the good things that the paper has and not only list some uh, shortcomings of the paper. And in terms of writing uh, reviews, I think that, uh, that the, the important thing in writing your reviews is, is to be a little bit modest uh, because we kind of uh, tend to think that we understand everything. Perhaps the authors do understand something. Um, not to take it very personally, so somehow especially younger people, especially students, when they review something that they, that they don't think is worthy of the conference, they view it as a personal offense against them. And they, they answer this way. And uh, trying to help, uh, to help the authors and being definitely, you can be critical if there is a point to be critical and uh, you shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't lower our standards. Uh, but uh, we can be very, um, um, I mean, we shouldn't be very emotional about it. We should just uh, try to do our, uh, our best and, and knowing, knowing that we are helping the community. Okay, so the first thing is here, there's a kind of, how do I write, start again? How do you write a paper review? How do I write a good review? So a lot of a lot of 
people think that when you write a review, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find faults in the paper. Actually, what you're trying to do is actually find reason to accept it. So, you, okay, this is a problem with our conference culture is that there's this kind of incentive on rejecting papers, but we should kind of forget that because actually a review, you're trying to make the paper better. You're trying to help the author make the paper better. Okay, so if you find a mistake in the paper, point it out. If you think the paper's barking up the wrong tree and that they'd be, be better off taking their ideas and using it in somewhere else, fine, you know, explain that. But generally speaking, you're trying to help the author do better research and also trying to understand where the author's coming from. Um, so one thing I find really irritating about reviews I get is you write a paper about X and then the review comes back going, we wish you'd written a paper about Y. And the point is, is that the reviewer hasn't really understood why you've written the paper. So the first thing you've really got to do when writing a review is, is understand where the author is coming from. Is the author trying to solve some theoretical problem? Is the author trying to solve some practical problem in a, the most efficient way possible? And, you know, kind of is therefore prepared to cut corners. You know, understand where the author is coming from and why they're trying to do what they're doing as I think the first thing. So you're on the side of the author. So the first thing you've got to do is understand where the author is coming from.